Final segment with Vice Mayor Jim Shulman. We'll try to get some more calls real quickly here. And uh, we will go next to uh, Claude. Good morning, Claude. Yes. Hey, go ahead, sir. Yes, I was just sitting there thinking that the uh, council is burning the midnight oil two weeks ago. They defund the police department and the sheriff department. Couldn't they come up with new ways of taxing instead of defunding? There's no things that they're doing any of those things. It seems like the council's out of control. I know we need to raise taxes, and then everybody kind of knew that. But injury to kick somebody down, as Mandad did, from uh, the mayor wanted 32, and the man said, you know what, we'll go 34. <laughs> Yeah, they ended up going 34. I'm not sure. I got mixed signal from him there. But let's just be real clear here. Um, no one's talking about getting rid of the police department. A lot of folks maybe who just hear it on the surface, even now, Jim, think defund the department. I mean, you can't. Who are we going to call if there's a murder? Yeah, that's not what we're talking about here. But is Metro Council going to look at the possibility of taking some money from the police, even though I know they just got their new budget increase and yeah. setting it up more for mental health or whatever? Well, so I think you always try to put everything on the table. But but we have the budget. The budget's in place for okay, this year. The right. only thing that might change is, again, if you watch tonight when, the, when uh, Kevin Crumbo, the finance director, comes, he's going to kind of lay out what's going on, which at this point I would probably caution everybody and say there's not a lot. Um, I mean, we don't have any new money coming in from Washington. Um, the economy is still, you know, you're not sure where it's going to go. We have all these cases going on, but you should watch. You should keep an eye on it. One of the things that you should always remember is that those tax, um, property tax increases, um, the notices don't go out until, I believe, October, sometime at the beginning of October. So if something were to change and we had some flexibility to reduce the rate, which I'm, don't, I'm not saying that we can do that, but we have a little bit of time still to look through it and figure out what's going on. So I would encourage you to watch tonight. On the other stuff, um, yeah, stay up until 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm 60 years old. I mean, <laughs> I get tired now at 9.30. <laughs> um, you know, and so th being up until 3 o'clock is not really what I really like to do. Uh, <laughs> but if that's what the council wants to do, we'll do it. Um, I think the point that uh, Claude was making, I, at least I heard part of this in there, was instead of staying up until 3 o'clock in the morning debating all kinds of different things, uh, there needs to be more priorities, more focused on what we're doing and making sure that we are efficient in what we do, efficient in, our, in how the council operates, and looking at things that make sense. So, Nick, you're talking yeah. about more mental health. I know the sheriff's office is working right. on that, doing that. Uh, Claude, keep an eye on us. Hopefully tonight we'll not be up until 3 o'clock in the morning. But I hear what you said. I heard, heard what you said. Go. Let's go to Fulton. Hi, Fulton. Go ahead, Fulton. Hi. Uh, I would like to know uh, exactly why the citizens of Nashville should trust the current administration that's taking care of all of this that hasn't balanced the budget and that it's allowed and i'm all for corporations coming into nashville and providing jobs but not taxing uh, corporations properly um, just for instance aquiland got 20 million dollars in tax breaks i think 20 million dollars would come in handy about right now and uh, would just like to know why we should trust them to get us out of the mess they got us into and why we shouldn't have a forensic accountant from the outside Okay. to help us find some some good ways to settle it. Thank you. All right. Thank you for your call. I mean, I think it would be fair to say, though, that it's to, to put that all on the front stoop of, of Mayor Cooper is not fair. I mean, a lot of what I think you were talking about, I don't disagree with some of his points, uh, were under other mayors. I mean, Mayor Cooper has only been there a short time. Yeah, but I, I do hear that point, yeah. and I do hear this... Um, I mean, it's it's not a obviously it's not a great time overall with a pandemic with <clears throat> lots of things happening, and I, I hear that from people saying we 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 don't trust government, um, and one of the ways that I think you have to do or try to restore some trust is try to be as transparent as you can in all the discussion, and the way you do transparency is you go out and try to convey as much information as you can, and and there was an effort I think being made before we actually got to the budget to, to try to do some of that. Um, and then the pandemic hit and all of a sudden we can't have meetings anymore. So it's really much, much harder to get that information out. But um, 
Yeah, I also hear Fulton's point in the sense of why do you trust government? And I think you, I mean, in a pandemic, I think you you have to you try to trust somebody trying to make good decisions, and you want leadership to rise up and and step up. And I will tell you that um, uh, I've talked to the mayor. It's not. It's not easy. I know it's not easy. You know, the mayor certainly didn't run thinking he was going to be in the middle of a pandemic. Um, it's a new group. Uh, but, I mean, like me, I've been on the council before. The mayor was on the council the last four years. We're responsible. Hold us responsible. Hold us accountable. And we need to listen and we need to be more transparent and hold us to that, too. We do have uh, uh, the mayor going to have his meeting again at 930 this morning to give an update on, you yeah. know, COVID response and all of that. Um, do you anticipate, it seems like Metro Health and the like, uh, it's still going to be status quo. We've, we've had some modest increases in terms of hospital beds, slow, I mean, maybe it's working, but we're going to stay on phase uh, two for a while here, right? So, um, have not talked to the mayor since last <laughs> week, so I never know sometimes. I watch those things on Tuesday just like everybody mm -hmm. else. Um, so I don't know what the mayor will do. Um, all I know is that... Um, you know, the mayor ultimately has to make the decision. I mean, it's ultimately up to him regarding what happens in the city. Um, but we need to help him by wearing these things. Yeah. Um, and um, being very careful. Come on. You know, I can't stress it enough. We're all in this together. Even if you don't like wearing masks, just put it on. Because I don't want to go backwards. I want to go forwards. And. I really do want, uh, you know, I talk to small business owners, Nick, and they're nervous just like everybody I else. I know, they fear it. I mean, yeah. that, gosh, if it gets worse. And here, the, the bottom line is, and again, the naysayers and not wanting to be told what to do, and I know no one likes that, but we know what works. And if you need proof of that, you need to look no farther than New York City. All right. Yeah. New York City was the epicenter of COVID of the world for a period, and it was horrible. They had trucks coming in to handle all the corpses. It's a shame it took that long. But I think New York City yesterday um, had 10 new cases. <laughs> you know, I mean, people abided by it. They're doing well. You know, some of them are slipping. They got to go yeah. slow still. But it worked in New York City. It was the masks and the shutdown. And now they're almost getting back to the point where they can get back to business that is normal. Don't we all want to be there? You said it well. Listen, thanks yeah. for coming on. As always, a pleasure, my friend. Will we see you next week? You'll see me next week. God willing, you take care of yourself, Vice Mayor. You too. I'll be back with a programming note right after this.